Two other special envoys from South Korea are in Tokyo and Beijing, each to deliver a letter from President Moon. They met with the respective leaders of Japan and China to schedule summit talks, reaffirm their ties, and touch on some ongoing bilateral issues. For details, let's turn to our Kim Yeon Bin. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said Thursday that South Korea is the most important country with which Japan shares strategic interests in the region. And stressed that the two countries need to work towards building future oriented relations. Abe's remarks followed talks with South Korea's special envoy, lawmaker Moon Hee Sang, who is in Tokyo to deliver a letter from President Moon Jae in. President Moon says he looked forward to holding talks with Abe in the earliest date. Abe and the special envoy also discussed a long running dispute over Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women, on which a controversial agreement was reached in December of 2015. The envoy made clear that most of the South Korean public cannot accept the deal. However, he did emphasize that Seoul and Tokyo are key partners in countering North Korea's nuclear and missile threats. Another special envoy of President Moon's arrived in Beijing on Thursday and held talks with China's foreign minister, Wang Yi. We hope the new government of South Korea realizes the problems that both countries are facing and takes effective measures to remove such obstacles to put the development of bilateral relations back on track. Seoul Beijing relations have not been on their best shape since South Korea and the U.S. announced their decision to deploy the U.S. missile defense system THAAD to the Korean Peninsula. Beijing strongly opposes the deployment of THAAD, claiming the battery harms its security interests. A special envoy is scheduled to meet with Chinese President Xi Jinping this week to schedule summit talks between the two countries and hopes to restore bilateral relations back to normal. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.